Mary Helen Dara, Taylor Automotive Family. I'm here with my fellow ambassador, Joan Coase. And why are we in front of the Hancock County Board of Elections, Joan? Who are we going to meet? We are going to meet Jody O'Brien, who has been in the leadership of the Board of Elections for the last 30 years. And she's going to tell us a little bit about what they actually do. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go inside. So today I had the pleasure of being with Jody O'Brien, who is the, at this point, the Deputy Director of the Hancock County Board of Elections. And so when I think of women who have best served and represented Finley over the years, Jody O'Brien is one of the first people who comes to my mind. Jody was an educator at Finley City Schools and Arlington Local Schools, and she also managed two family businesses before moving into a leadership role at the Hancock County Board of Elections. Jody loves all things Finley and has served on multiple boards and committees. She's also known as being a huge fan of Trojan and the Oilers and served as the video camera person for Finley High School football and basketball for over 10 years. Jody is a huge sports fan, that's for sure. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the journey that led you from teaching to your leadership role now at the Board of Elections. Well, when I was teaching, the last year I taught, I had a little boy. And so I decided to probably retire from teaching. And then I went into my mother-in-law's dress shop and helped her part-time and different things like that. So then just got a phone call one day and they said, we have an opening for deputy director at the Hancock County Board of Elections. They knew I had been interested in politics and I had served on uh, the Republican women's group. And so I said, well, I might be interested in that. And that's what happened about 30 years ago. <laughs> My, how time flies, right? <laughs> yes. So, um, I think a lot of people don't really understand how the Board of Elections in Ohio and specifically in Hancock County works and how the director position is determined and really what your role is. Could you um, explain to all of us what your role is and how this okay. works? Well, here in Hancock County, in the Board of Elections across the state in 88 counties, we have a director and a deputy director. Also, there are four board members. The director and deputy director have to be of different parties. And then we have two Republicans and then two Democrats on the board. When the director is a Republican, then the chairman of the board has to be a Democrat. And so in Hancock County, we switch the director and deputy director back and forth every two years so that different people can be a chairperson also. In Hancock County, Laura and I get paid the same. We do just about the same type of work. And we just, it's a very easy transition back and forth. What do you do? What is the role of the Board of Elections? Well, foremost, to run fair and, office, and, and honest elections, for sure. And then we work more than two days a year, <laughs> which most people think, oh, you work for the primary and the general. I will tell you that we work every single day. We have different things to do. To, this morning I was talking to two attorneys from Columbus on the local option issues that are going to take place in November um, on our ballot. Uh, people don't realize that, but we have 60 precincts in Hancock County and every precinct has different local option laws. So maybe to sell beer on Sunday, you have to have a different license and it has to be voted on by the people in that precinct. A lot of people don't understand it. And now we've gone to from just precincts to specific sites. So a restaurant, side-by-side -side restaurant, somebody might be selling, be able to sell beer on Sunday and the other one might not because they have not gone to the ballot. And a lot of people don't understand that about local options. We also are very interested in helping people take out petitions um, when they want to run for office, tell them all about that. The other day, we got 300 petitions wow. from the Secretary of State's office with over 1,000 signatures to check the signatures so that we know that they had enough signatures for the redistricting issue that's going to probably be on the ballot in November if they did get enough signatures. Just little things like that. 
for that sure. don't sound like little things. <laughs> but I mean, things like that that people don't think of that we're, you know, involved with. Right. What are a few of the most challenging and rewarding aspects of what you do? Well, the most challenging is to put on an election without a problem <laughs> and to have a smooth election. And but the challenge and I will have to say, like COVID, we worked every single day. We were in the office. It wasn't that we could work from home. We were working every single day to register people. In the uh, the election, primary election of 2020, 2020, which had COVID, they, we were ready to go. The machines were all out. And at 2 o'clock on election day, we got the message, there's not going to be an election. So we had to try to get a hold of all of our poll workers that were supposed to be there at 5.30 in the morning. A lot of them were there at 5.30 in the morning. We had to get around to the different precincts and say, I'm sorry, there's not an election. Now, was that the primary or the That was the primary primary. in March. First of all, the day before, we were going to have the election, and then about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they said the election's off. About 6 o'clock that afternoon also, they said, okay, the election's back on. I remember this. So then at 2 o'clock in the morning, they called and said the election's off. I will have to tell you, we have great poll workers. It's fun to be a poll worker. The poll workers in one precinct were there at 5.30 in the morning, and we called and said, you know, you can go home. And they said, we have all this food here. (laughs) They turned on music and danced and ate all the food at 5.30 in the morning. (laughs) So, but it's a challenge to put on an election. Uh, I know the first time that I ever worked and was the deputy director and we had an election, I felt like I was getting on an airplane where I had no control over anything that might happen that day. But they come out smoothly. We have a great group of people in Hancock County, the sheriff, everybody that works with us on election day in in case something goes wrong. So we're very fortunate. What advice would you offer young women who want to get behind the wheel and lead an organization like the Board of Elections? I think just to be dedicated to what you really want to do and know what you want to do. Don't be afraid to get involved in the community and do different things and become known. But if you see a position that you really want, get your foot in the door somehow. And then you can move up the ladder a little bit, as they say, in um, businesses you can get overloaded too with too much. You have to really believe what you want to do and believe in the committees you're on and work hard for them. I've always considered myself behind the scenes Mm. uh, and not a leader, but for some reason, sometimes you get pushed into a place that, can I do this? Well, I think I can do it. It's on committees and uh, different things like that. But I still think you have to have the fire in your belly to really want to do what you want to do. And it's easy to say yes to everything, but then you have to, you know, come ahead and go and work hard. And the one thing that we've learned is it's to say no. Please, you know, if you don't really want to do something, say no and get very involved in what you're doing. That's great advice, Jody. So Jody, do you have any fun facts or interesting stories that you could share to us? You've been involved in an awful lot of things. Well, everybody knows that I love sports. And when I was videotaping for Finley High School, my claim to fame was the quarterback of that team the year that I videotaped was Ben Roethlisberger. And so, um, and I used to make tapes for all of the boys that wanted tapes and give them to the different boys the next morning. And so sometimes I would deliver them to Ben's house. And also in basketball, Ben played basketball. And I have all, I told Ben one time that I have watched more film of him than he has of himself. (laughs) Well, it has been such a pleasure to catch up and I think really helpful for people to understand what the role is of this organization and um, to be confident that this election, the, the mechanics of voting at this election is in very good hands. Well, thank you thank for you. all you do. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jody, for sharing your experience and your passion. I think we all learned something today about how Board of Elections um, work. So thanks so much. 
Let's head down the road and see who's next in the driver's seat.